Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. Dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear our prayers, O Lord so that what was promised by the sanctifying power of your word may everywhere be accomplished through the working of the gospel, and that all your adopted children may attain what the testimony of truth has foretold. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should have reason to hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles in your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all see Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquila, <clears throat> at Centre he shaved his head because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness, for the Lord, the Most High, is awesome, the great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. 
He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is king of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to the Lord, sing praise, sing praise to our king, sing praise. God is king of all the earth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you. You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish. But I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do not be afraid. Go on speaking and do not be silent, for I am with you. This phrase, given by the Lord to Paul, is then shown to be fulfilled in the first reading. All during this Easter season, We've heard from the Acts of the Apostles of the early church. And in a very interesting twist in this reading, the Lord tells Paul, he says, no one will attack you. I have many people in this city. This is what God says to Paul. Now, this new proconsul of the tribunal may or may not be Christian. We're not told. We know he's a Roman. And the Jews bring Paul because, of course, he's preaching the resurrection. And they bring him before the bench, and they're trying to induce him to bring some charge against Paul. Sound familiar? Jesus, right? So before the bench, they're trying to induce them, but our friend Gallio will have none of it. And Scripture tells us that Gallio says, well, if it were a matter of malicious fraud or some crime with reason, I'd hear your case. But this is all about arguments over titles or your religious doctrine. Therefore, see to it yourselves. I don't wish to be a judge of such matters. Then later we're told, after they beat Sosthenes right in the full view of the bench, we're told, None of this was of concern to Galilee. Now, for those of you who are Greek scholars, I know that you know that it's an interesting play of words here because it says that Galileo was disinterested, not uninterested. Fascinating that God uses this Roman judge to help Paul 
He's one of those, if you will, of the many people in the city who he has. I don't know about you, but there's an awful lot of arguing about titles and religious things and all manner of things that we could easily enter into because people come to us to stand in judgment of others. Gallio, I think, teaches us a lesson. We should be disinterested in all of the nonsense going on around us. We should be fair, impartial, and judge for ourselves only those matters which we know to be in the mind and in the work that we're given to do. How fascinating, then, that Paul can go on his way protected by the Lord. I know you're wondering why Paul shaved his head. That always raises a question in this Easter reading. And Scripture tells us that a good Jew, which Paul was, and a rabbi, would make a vow, and then, if these things came fulfilled, he would, for a number of days, he would fast from meat and let his hair grow for 30 days. At the end of which, he would offer thanksgiving and shave his head. Scholars tell us it's likely Paul was grateful for having been protected as God promised him. Do not be afraid. He was grateful that he wasn't beaten in full view of the bench. So grateful that he made a vow and fulfilled it. We don't know whether Dalio was Christian or pagan, but we do know he was impartial and he was disinterested in the nonsense going on in front of him, which had nothing to do with truth, nothing to do with keeping the law, and nothing to do with the good. May we be so disinterested and hear the Lord's voice to us in this Eucharist this morning. Go on speaking. Do not be afraid and do not be silent. For I am with you and I have many people in this city. Blessed are you. Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of our Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and confident hearts, may we be accepted by you now. May our sacrifice and selflessness be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May we accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and Accept in compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks. To the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy 
Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, O holy, O holy, O holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy and indeed to be glorified, O God who love the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit, to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ at his command, and may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead, whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us 
when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs, with St. John of Avila and St. Damien de Wuster, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Christ Jesus, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope from the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood of Jesus Christ not bring you to judgment and condemnation, but to the loving of the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord. Behold, the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ be safe to return. Amen. May the body of Christ be safe to return. Christ the Lord was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. <clears throat> And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits <clears throat> of the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.